guys welcome to my channel my name is Giselle and I review fragrances if you're new to my channel welcome if you are returning thank you so much for your support so first of all I want to talk today about a brand which is having some hype lately which is by Rito. but before getting into the fragrances I want to address a question I got from a, a subscriber that I think you might be interested as well so she asked me why I never mentioned dupes and this is the thing I never mentioned dupes because this is how I decided to manage my channel I don't believe in dupes I feel like I'm doing a disservice to the industry there's so much thought so much money so much research so much effort behind creating a fragrance that by recommending dupes I feel I'm doing a disservice especially to those brands I love I totally understand that you know some niche fragrances are extremely extremely expensive and sometimes unattainable and for that reason I am more than happy to give you suggestions actually that's what I've been doing in my videos if you watch my previous videos you will see that I always say if you like this fragrance you may like this one and honestly I'm very good at picking fragrances with similar vibes or notes and feel free to reach out to me I'll drop my email down below or you can leave a comment down below if you ever want a similar fragrance I will be more than happy to do that but I'm not gonna talk about dupes here in my channel and I hope you can understand so again thank you so much for your question I think that many people would be wondering why um, for popularity's sake I know that I should be doing that but this is not who I am so I've decided to just leave the dupes off of my channel so having said that let's get started with Byrido so Byrido is a Swedish brand they focus 100% on quality and you can tell that through their bottles their bottles are very minimalistic they don't have too much bells and whistles they have um, magnetic cups and the cups and the bottle says a lot about the quality of the brand so the founder Ben Gorham is a former uh, basketball player and he had a strong passion for fragrances and he decided to create his own brand which is by Rito. everything is made in Sweden super top quality it's a niche house and everything they do is super simplistic actually he keeps his formulas very simple he doesn't want any note to clash with other notes so what I like about the brand is that you don't find uh, surprises like you get what you pay for like if you test a fragrance and you like it that's what you will get and usually the names are not misleading like you will see in my video like this is Blanche for example and I'll talk about this later but this is what you will get if you get a floral fragrance that is what you will get there's no surprises no misleading names and the fragrances are very very linear so they will stay like that the whole time it lasts on your skin and I'm gonna start with the the one that is getting more hype which is actually my least favorite Balda Frick Let me read the notes first. So the notes are African marigold, bergamot, buchu, and the leaf is used for, for medicine. So it has buchu, cyclamen, violet, Moroccan cedarwood, and vetiver. It has great longevity, nothing against that, but it's simply like not my cup of tea. Actually, I purchased this years ago when Baldafric wasn't even a thing I remember I had to write down the names for for people because they didn't even know what Baldafric was and I also tested in different countries I live in different countries different cities and I can tell you that this one performs extremely well um, in cold months in cold weather it's not a summer fragrance although some people love it you know you do you you can do whatever you want but if I have to recommend and that's what I'm doing here reviewing a fragrance I would say this is uh, a top performer during the colder months it's fresh it's clean it's slightly floral slightly fruity although it doesn't have a single note of pineapple people say it smells like pineapple I don't get a pineapple note there's no pineapple here but probably the way all the notes are blended gives that pineapple vibes but there's no pineapple here 
my least favorite, but still a great, great, great fragrance. Balda Freak by Byrido. Oh, I forgot to mention something. Um, everything there has a story behind and Balda Freak was inspired by the founder's dad. He used to travel to Africa and he used to read his dad's diaries and he tried to capture in Balda Freak his own interpretation of Africa through his dad's words and of course his his own thoughts. So the next one is La Tulip. So La Tulip was inspired by the tulip, by the flower, which is the first flower to bloom among all the flowers in the nature. And it's the sign of spring, right? And especially in Northern Europe, it's very great. Sun is scarce. So when people see a sign of spring, it, it brings happiness, it brings joy. And this is how La Tulip was created, inspired in, in this beautiful flower. The flower is absolutely, the flower is stunning, but the fragrance, it's even more beautiful. It has sea climbing, freesia, rhubarb, which gives a slightly type of tartness. Like if you are familiar with the Lina, the Lina has the rhubarb and that's what gives it fragrance, that type of genesic one. So, uh, as I was saying, cyclamen, freesia, rhubarb, tulip, of course, um, cashmere and vetiver. Cashmere or blonde woods is a fantasy note. It's synthetic. It's recreated in the lab to make you feel like you are cozy and warm, like when you would wear like a cashmere sweater. So that's it. That is uh, cashmere or blonde woods. And this is what this has. It's, it's an amazing fragrance. Oh. It's a floral green fragrance. It's very sexy. It's very feminine. It's very put together. When you wear this, you will feel very put together. It's very elegant. It's very versatile as well. You can wear this in the summer with a sheer dress, like an organza flowy dress full of flowers. And you can also wear this for a business meeting with a tailored suit and you will be incredibly elegant and classy. If you want an alternative to this one, I would recommend uh, Coco Mademoiselle, the classic version. It's not similar by any means. I'm not saying these are similar fragrances. However, you will wear this fragrance in the same way you would wear uh, Coco Mademoiselle. So it's that versatile, it's that feminine, that sexy, that classy. So it's, I think it's, it's a good alternative because it's more affordable and you will still get the same vibes and you would get to use it for the same type of occasions, events, whatever. So this was La Tulip. So guys, the next one also in, in the flowers direction is Inflor Essence. This is one of the few instances where I buy a big bottle. This is a big bottle, 3.4, and this is my second bottle, actually. It's an absolutely stunning floral fragrance. It's very, oh, it's what, it's a white fresh floral. It's very crisp. It's very clean. Um, it's a floral fragrance, no doubt. But what this fragrance has in particular is that it doesn't have musk, nor does it have any sandalwood and sometimes floral fragrances are combined with those notes which gives that creaminess and coziness well this is not like that this is very linear very it's like a cold type of fragrance i found this performs amazingly well in cold weather let me give you the notes first um it has pink freesia it has rose Lily of the Valley, Magnolia, no wonder I love Magnolia, and Jasmine. It has great longevity and great projection. The first time I tried this on was in Vegas, and everybody, after I left the store, everybody was asking me what I was wearing. And to stand out in Vegas when it gets really, really crowded, it's a thing. So I can attest this has amazing projection, great sillage. And it lasts in on my skin. I I get at least at least six hours. It's great if you like to layer. These two are amazing layer together. La tulip and inflorescence. 
They are both florals, but they are totally different, although they have the same vibes. You will wear this too for the same time of events and occasions, so I would say that an alternative to inflorescence would also be Coco Mademoiselle, again, the classic version. It's a very elegant fragrance. You will feel very put together, even luxurious, but it's, it's like pure femininity. It's very, very nice. It's it's super like fizzy. It's, it, you know what? It, this is a floral hard to describe because it's different from your typical florals. It's nothing complex here. As I said at the beginning, he keeps his formulas very simple, but this is a different floral. La Tulip and Inflorescence, I think are the most different florals that I have tried so far. So again, highly, highly recommend Inflorescence by Byredo. So the last one guys is Blanche. So Blanche in French means white and in fact this is why he picked this name because this is he wanted to capture in this fragrance his interpretation of the color white. Oh, it is magnificent. It's soapy, it's clean, it's crisp, it's sheer, it's transparent, super super feminine. Oh god, it's classy. It's as the founder said it's pure and simple in structure, but extreme in character. And this is what Blanche is. I love this. It has aldehydes, pink pepper, white rose, neroli, peony, violet, musk, sandalwood, and also has cashmere. And this is an amazing fragrance also for cold weather, middle of the winter, winter nights. Oh, very, very sexy and classy but this is a very, very inoffensive fragrance. Same as Inflorescence, I would say these two are the most inoffensive fragrance. None of them are offensive. If I have to pick one that could be more offensive, it could be a Balda Frick, although it's not, but if I have to pick one, I would say it's that one. So Blanche, it's like a super, I would say this is even a safe blind buy if you like clean and soapy fragrances. A more affordable alternative to this one could be uh, warm cotton by clean or clean reserve because clean there is clean and clean reserve and they both have I think it's the same it's the same brand actually they have a more expensive line which they call clean reserve and they have just a clean line and both have warm cotton and it's a very 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 good like I would say 95% alternative to this one it's not a dupe as i was saying but it's a great alternative because it's also very very crisp very clean very white sheer and soapy so guys i hope you enjoy my video thank you so much for watching i hope you're staying safe and if you enjoy my video please consider subscribing and giving me thumbs up so as i said at the beginning this way you will help me grow my channel and i will keep sharing my passion fragrances with you Thank you so much for watching again. Stay safe and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.